And today I'm going to read another scary book. This one is I think it is way more scary, or that. <laughs> How do you say scarier or like more scary than the um, the ghost story? Actually, um, this one actually talk about the war and like how this little girl um, like flee from her hometown to uh, travel to a safer place. And I have re read this story to many of my other students, and it's very emotional and. The art inside the book is amazing. Um, it's definitely affect a lot of my students' emotions. Um, some students showed um, they felt scared of this uh, graphic, but yeah, here it is. Um, hope you yeah you can tell me how do you feel, and yeah, this is an amazing book. Mm, here it goes. The journey. By Francisca Senna. The journey. I live with my family in the city close to the sea. Every summer, we used to spend many weekends at the beach, but we never go there anymore. Because last year our lives changed forever. The war began. Every day, had things started happening around us, and soon there was nothing but chaos. And one day, the war took my father. Since that day, everything has become darker, and my mother has become more and more worried. The other day, one of my mother's friends told her that many people are leaving. They're trying to escape to another country, a country far away with high mountains. She showed us pictures. Oh, what is this place? We asked our mother. It is a safe place, she tells us. And where is this place? We ask again. She shows us pictures of strange cities, strange forests, and strange animals. Until she finally sighs, "We will go there and not be frightened anymore." We don't want to leave, but our mother tells us it it will be a great adventure. We put everything we have in suitcases and say goodbye to everyone we know. We leave at night to avoid being seen and keep moving for many days. The further we go, the more we leave behind. We finally arrive at the border. It is an enormous wall, and we must climb over it. But oh no! They you are not allowed to cross the border. Go back! Shouts an angry guard. We have nowhere to go, and we're very tired.
In the darkness, the noises of the forest scares me. But Mother is with us, and is she is never scared. We close our eyes and finally fall asleep. Shouting wakes us up. It is the guards. They are looking for us, and we must hide. Quick, this way, whispers our mother. We run and run until a man we have never seen before appears. Mother gives him some money, and he takes us over the border. It is dark, and nobody sees us. Our journey is not over yet. Our mother tells us, the sea stretches far and wide ahead of us, and we must cross it. How will this be possible? We have a bo boarded a ferry. Board we have boarded a ferry with so many people. There is not much space, and it is rains every day. But we tell each other stories, the tales of terrible and dangerous monsters that hide beneath our boat, ready to gobble us up if the boat capsizes. The boat rocks and rocks us, ro rocks and rocks as the waves grow bigger and bigger. It feels like the sea will never end. We tell each other new stories, stories about the land we're heading to, where the big green forests are filled with kind fairies that dance and give us magic spells to end the war. As the sun rises, we see land for the first time in days. The boat rocks silently to shore. Our mother tells us we are very lucky to still be together. Is this the place where we will be safe? We ask. It is close, she says with a tired smile. We travel for more days and more nights, crossing many borders. From the train, I look up to the birds that seem to be following us. They are migrating just like us, and their journey is very long too, but they don't have to cross any borders. I hope one day, like these birds, we will find a new home, a home where we can be safe and begin our story again. This is the book.